What's up you guys, it's Deep OE and today we will create this awesome 3D colorful glowing text effect in Photoshop. So we have already created some videos on the similar topic. So if you want to check them out, then the link for those videos will be in the description below. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests, then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free, then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So let's first start by creating a new document. So for that go to file and then select the option as new. And then you can set the width and height accordingly or else you can set it as follows width as around 3840 pixels height as around 2160 pixels and then set the resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then click on create so once you have your document ready now the next thing we need to do is type in our text so for that select horizontal type tool and then you can select any font of your choice download link for the font i'm choosing is in the description below also, if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop, the link for that is in the description as well. And then set any appropriate size for your text. I'm setting it to 350 point and then you can click on the foreground color and then set any random color at the moment, which will be the color of our text. Anyways, we are going to change it later on. So I'm setting the color as black at the moment and then you can click on OK. After that, you can click on the document and then type in any text of your choice. So once you have typed your text, after that you need to click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now the next thing we need to do is place this text at the center of the document. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer active. And then you need to select move tool. And then click on align horizontal centers. After that click on align vertical centers. So now as you can see now our text has been placed at the center of the document. Now after that you need to make the text layer active by clicking on it. Now the next thing we need to do is fill this text with that of a nice gradient color. So for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as gradient overlay. Now in the pop up you need to set the blend mode as normal, opacity as 100% and then click on the gradient icon which will give you an option in order to select the gradient. Now over here we will be creating a custom gradient so for that select the gradient as black and white and then double click on the leftmost bottom color stop which will give you an option in order to set the color and then set the color as follows 5B DE 60 and then you can click on OK. Now we need to create one more color stop so for that go at the bottom and as you can see as you go at the bottom one hand tool will appear over there so you need to click on it in order to add a color stop. And then you need to set the location of that color stop to around 25% and then click on the color icon and then set the color of that color stop as follows FE FE45 and then you can click on OK. Now we need to add one more color stop so let me just add it and then you need to set the location of that color stop to around 50% and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows FD 3A 2D and then you can click on OK. And then we need to add one more color stop so let me just add it and then set the location of that color stop to around 75% and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows FE 5A FE and then you can click on OK. After that double click on the rightmost bottom color stop and then set the color as follows 00 FF FF and then you can click on OK. So now our new gradient is ready. Now we need to use this gradient at many locations. So let's just save this gradient. So for that give any name of the gradient. And then you can click on the new option in order to save that gradient. So now as you can see now your gradient will be saved over here. After that you can click on OK. And then you need to make sure that you have unchecked this reverse checkbox. And then set the style as linear. Angle as 0 degree. And then set the scale as 100%. And then you can click on OK. So now as you can see now we have filled the text with that of a nice gradient color. Now the next thing we need to do is create a 3D depth for our text. So for that we need to create a duplicate of our text layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. So now once you have created a duplicate of your text layer. Now after that we need to bring up the transform tool. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus T. 
and then we need to move this text to the right by 1 pixels and to the bottom by 1 pixels. So for that we need to increase the values of x and y over here by 1 pixel seat. So let me just do that. So once you have increased the values of x and y, after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place your text. So now in order to get a perfect 3D depth, we need to repeat the same step until we reach a copy count of 50. So don't worry, we have a shortcut for this step. So for that, all you need to do is press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus Alt or Options on Mac plus Shift plus T key of your keyboard in order to create a duplicate and then shift that duplicate by one pixel seats. So as you can see a new duplicate text layer has been created and that duplicate text layer has been shifted to right by 1 pixels and to bottom by 1 pixels. Now we need to repeat the same steps until we reach a copy count of 50. So let me just do that. You can keep the control or command on Mac plus alt or options on Mac plus shift key of your keyboard pressed all the time and then just keep on pressing the T key of your keyboard in order to create a duplicate and shift it. So as you can see we have reached the copy count of 50. Now the next thing we need to do is merge all the duplicate layers into a single group. So for that go at the bottom and then press shift and then click on the first duplicate layer which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as give you the selection of all the layers in between and then press ctrl or command on mac plus g key of your keyboard in order to combine all the selected layers into a single group. So now as you can see now all the duplicate text layers have been combined into a single group. Now the next thing we need to do is place this group below our original text layer. So let me just do that. And then we need to create a duplicate of this group. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then we need to convert this duplicate group into a rasterized layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus E. And then you can hide the original group by clicking on the R icon and then rename that group as a backup in case we do something wrong we won't have to start from scratch. So now the next thing we will be doing is filling our background with that of a nice color. So for that make sure that your backup group layer is active by clicking on it and then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color and then you can set the color as follows 171712D and then you can click on OK. So now as you can see now we have filled the document with that of a nice background color but as you can see at the moment it does not seem like that our text has any 3D depth and we need to solve that thing. So for that make the rasterized layer active by clicking on it and then click on add layer style option and then select the option as inner glow. Now in the pop up you need to set the blend mode as overlay and then set the opacity as 100%, noise as 0% and then click on the color icon. And then set the color as follows 1D0056 and then click on OK. After that set the technique as softer, source as center, choke to 0% and then set the size to around 100 pixels. And then you can click on the drop down of the contour and then select the contour as linear. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this inner glow option. So this was the before and now this is the after. So as you can see it adds a nice shadow kind of effect which makes it look like that our text has a 3D depth. Now the next thing we need to do is add some drop shadow. So for that click on the drop shadow option and then let me just reset it to default and then you need to set the blend mode of the drop shadow to soft light. Click on the color icon and then set the color as black and then you can click on OK and then set the opacity to around 70%. Make sure you tick this use global light option. And then set the angle to around 90 degree, distance to around 95 pixels, spread to around 0% and then set the size to around 90 pixels. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. So now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow. So this was the before and now this is the after. So as you can see it adds a nice overall shadow from our text to the background. Now the next thing we need to do is add one more inner glow layer style but as you can see we don't have an option in order to add one more inner glow layer style. So for that click on OK at the moment and then we need to create a duplicate of this layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J and then we need to clear all the layer styles from our duplicate layer. So for that right click on the layer and then select the option as clear layer style. So as you can see all the layer styles have been cleared. Now the next thing we need to do is set the fill of this layer to 0%. So let me just do that. 
So once you have set the fill of the layer to 0%, after that click on add layer style option and then select the option as inner glow. Now in the pop-up you need to set the blend mode as overlay, opacity as 100%, noise as 0%, click on the color icon and then set the color as follows AF 80 D1 and then you can click on OK and then set the technique as softer, source as edge, choke to 0% and then set the size to around 170 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default now let me just show you the before and after of the second inner glow option so for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image so now in order to see the before and after of this inner glow you need to focus on the edge of the depth over here so this was the before and now this is the after after that you can click on ok now let me just make this image fit into the document so now as you can see now our text is looking much better. Now the next thing we need to do is add some glow around our text. So for that we need to get the selection of it. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on the icon of this rasterized layer which will give you its selection. So once you have the selection of the whole text, after that go to select and then modify and then select the option as expand and then you can set the expand by to 150 pixels and then you can click on OK. So now we need to fill this selection with that of the gradient which we had saved earlier. So for that make the color fill layer active by clicking on it. And then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon. And then select the option as gradient. Now in the pop up you need to click on the gradient icon. And then select the gradient which you had saved earlier. And then you can click on OK. And then set the style as linear. Angle as 0 degree and then scale as 100% and then make sure you untick this reverse checkbox and then you can click on OK. So now as you can see now we have filled the selection with that of the gradient which we had created earlier. Now the next thing we need to do is convert this gradient fill layer into a smart object. So for that right click on the gradient fill layer and then select the option as convert to smart object and then we need to apply some blur to this layer. So for that go to filter and then blur and then select the option as Gaussian Blur and then you can set the radius to around 160 pixels now let me just show you the before and after of this Gaussian Blur filter so this was the before and now this is the after after that you can click on OK so once you have applied the Gaussian Blur filter after that you need to change the blend mode of this layer to linear dodge and then you need to reduce the opacity of this layer to around 40% so let me just do that so now as you can see now we have added the glow to our text now the next thing we need to do is change the color of our original text layer. So for that make the original text layer active by clicking on it. And then click on add layer style option. And then select the option as color overlay. Now over there you need to set the blend mode as normal. Click on the color icon. And then set the same color which you had set for the background. So let me just do that. 1D, 1D, 38. And then you can click on OK and then set the opacity to around 100%. Now let me just show you the before and after of this color fill layer. So this was the before and now this is the after. And then we need to add some stroke onto this text. So for that select the option as stroke. And then you need to set the size of the stroke to around 20 pixels. Set the position as inside. Blend mode as normal. Opacity as 100%. Set the fill type as gradient. And then click on the gradient icon. Now over here as well you need to select the same gradient which you had saved earlier and then you can click on OK. After that over here as well you need to set the same gradient settings. Make sure you uncheck this reverse checkbox, style as linear, angle as 0 degree and then set the scale to around 100%. Now let me just show you the before and after of this stroke. So this was the before and now this is the after. Now the next thing we need to do is add some inner shadow near the border of the text. So for that select the option as inner shadow and then set the blend mode of the inner shadow as multiply. Click on the color icon and then set the color as black. After that set the opacity to around 100%. Make sure you uncheck this use global light option and then set the angle to around 120 degree. Distance to around 15 pixels. Choke to around 30%. And then set the size as around 50 pixels. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this inner shadow. So for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image. 
Now in order to see the before and after of this in a shadow, you need to focus on the edge of the text. So this was the before and now this is the after. After that you can click on OK. Now let me just make this image fit into the document. So now as you can see now our text is looking so much better. So yeah that's it guys that's the final image. I hope you guys like this video on how to create this 3D colorful glowing text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps us in deciding what kinds of topic you want.